He's not too fond of his sister either. <clears throat> I think I remember you said she's your little sister, right? I'm still in the shrine grounds. I no longer feel her arms around me. My chest feels like it's about to burst. I hold it back. Hey, Lukako. Yes? You're... I hesitate for a moment, but I have to know. You're a guy, right? Um, yes. He's gone. He has returned. Do you like me? Whoa, what? Uh, I don't understand. Do you like me? Mm. I respect you. He respects me? I don't deserve his respect. That's not what matters now. Lukaku's answer seemed clear, but wasn't. He didn't answer the question. If I change back into a guy, I'll have to hide my feelings for you. Be blushing. Lukaku might still like me, even though he's a guy again. However, he'll never speak honestly about those feelings. Well, he. Sure. Thanks. You are my disciple, now and forever. Agreed? Yes, of course I am. The world line has changed. Lukaku is a guy again. Which means that IBN 5100 should be here at the shrine. On the previous world line, Grail Lukaku broke the IBN 5100 while cleaning the storehouse. But Guy Lukaku didn't clean the storehouse. He never broke the IBN 5100. Lukaku, do you remember breaking an old computer in the shrine storehouse last year? Fishy! Hey! Oh my god, Fishy. You've missed so much, but I'm back. You missed so much. Oh, so Luca goes back to being a guy. An old computer? No, I don't remember anything like that. I don't really understand computers. I haven't played with them much. Nukaka was a girl. She trembled when I asked her the same question. Now she's not trembling now. No! <laughs> Nukaka honestly doesn't know. Go get your father for me. I respect his decision. <laughs> As do we all. But no! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, is. I think the, the decision to stay female was just a little too high. <clears throat> Out of respect for our mutual friend Mayuri. We decided not to go through with it, so. I asked Luke to go to fetch his father for me, so I can ask him whether or not the IBN 5100 was in the storehouse. Old computer. Yes, I do remember. Now go check. Please wait a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me? He heads into the storeroom out back, just like in a previous world line. In the previous world line, the IBN 5100 was no longer in the storehouse, since Girl Lukako had secretly moved it. How will it turn out this time? Gone. I couldn't find it anywhere. Does Mary live in the ending you did last night? No. She hasn't lived in any of the, any of the endings I've gotten. Every time she's died. So hopefully this time, because I turned Lukako back into a guy, hopefully she can live. My sister's always on my business and other stuff, trying to play a game. And my sister? Thomas? Me. <laughs> Dies a game. Connie, did you bother me while I was in 2D place? My mind. What? Little shit. <laughs> I see. You're kind of stuck in the middle. 
between an older sister and a younger sister. Kind of like me. <laughs> I have two older sisters and one younger. It was crazy when I was when I was but a wee lad. The lock to the storehouse was broken. Someone may have stolen it. Stolen it? Didn't disappear? Thief took it? We will force the now confirmed cutest girl, Mayuri. This will be the time. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, fishy. Fingers crossed. There's evidence someone dragged something heavy away that wasn't back at the end of the year cleaning, and the look lock wasn't broken when I checked last month. Never expected the thief would break in. Shouldn't we report it to the police? This isn't going to work. IBN 5100 is still out of reach. There are two D-mails left to cancel. Something tells me that if I cancel just one more, I can get back the IBN 5100. Oh, we're close. Which one? Um, Okubi-san? I don't really understand, but please don't be sad. J -j -j just go. It matters not, like you always do. Using that phrase wrong, you know. If I could somehow date Mayuri, I would protect her and Lukiko at all costs. <laughs> you sound just like Cheeto when he, <clears throat> when he talks about Ferris. Two d -mails remain. Only two remain. First, the one I sent to myself with the winning Lotto 6 numbers. That one should be easy to cancel. The problem is the other one, the one sent by someone I wish I could forget. But said it, my Yuri, your girlfriend. <laughs> my Yuri is Fishy's waifu. Because that person who sent the D mail is Yuriu Moika, the traitor. She betrayed us, stream. She betrayed us. Now I gotta go talk to the traitor. Very doubtful means most likely not. <laughs> exactly. Likely is the key word there, not absolutely. You have a chance. I know the gist of her D mail since she sent it as part of our early experiments. Malika ended up sending a D mail to prevent herself from buying a new phone a few days prior. The D mail sent to July 31st, an easy date to remember. The question is how it relates to the theft of the IPN 5100. Here, Malika does not deserve my sympathy. That woman and her men have killed Mayuri more times than I bear to remember. I will show her no mercy. There's just one problem. The cancellation email needs to be sent from Moika's own phone. I need her phone, but I don't know where to find her. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. Good attitude to have. Is there more tomorrow? Yeah. And the day after that, too. Mayuri, who returned from Kamima a mere 30 minutes ago, was preparing a cup of noodles for dinner, talking and telling Kurusu, who stayed at the lab, all about her otaku adventures. I must leave Sora's rules behind. <laughs> Interesting. Already past eight. Nothing is happening. My Yuri is still alive. Perhaps her death has been postponed until tomorrow. Is this the will of some higher being, God, fate, the universe itself? Or is it merely coincidence? Kill this stupid shiny finger ass, stupid ass, ugly no smooth big ass pummel to the ground. A glass is asked to kill that beach. Here's a sandy beach, I will say that. I don't know if I have to kill her, though. I mean, I could just... Tell her to... I don't know. Say you're sorry. I don't know. 
My Yuri tells me that she'll go home as soon as she's done eating, since she has to be up bright and early tomorrow. Fishy. <laughs> He's very passionate. He's never liked Shining Finger. Like, never. As I'm pretty sure, like, my Yuri will live. I'm pretty sure, as soon as he saw her, he's like, I don't like her. I gotta go back and check the past streams. But I'm like, I'm highly sure. <laughs> That's fishy. I like that plan. Well, ultimately, I'm gonna make the decision, but still. <laughs> we have to give her the chance to grow. Like I've always been saying. You never know. She can, she can fix what she broke. We just have to give her the chance. She must have woken up early today if she managed to swing by the lab before heading to uh, Ariake for Kamima. Sounds like she plans to repeat the process tomorrow, too. And I gotta sneeze, excuse me. Ah, <sighs> dang it. Uh, that feeling you have when you got to sneeze, but you don't sneeze. <clears throat> Shiny finger was shady with the multiple email and barely showing up, and me only seeing her in the two, two or three streams of this game. Oh yeah, yep, there you go. That's evidence. I mean, definitely shady. I will say that she definitely been, been pretty shady. We invite her to things, she doesn't show up. I give her a cool. Nickname, she doesn't like it. Bless you. Ah, thank you, Sora. <clears throat> ah, came out of nowhere, too. Okay. <clears throat> back back to Steins Gate. Hey, guys, why don't you come, too? Now pass. My assistant looks like she wants to go. What? Hey, don't put words in my mouth. I saw your eyes sparkling while you listened to Mayuri's cosplay stories. I'm sad. I'm gonna let her kill my new waifu anymore. Well, if I have, if it were up to me, I wouldn't let anyone kill anybody. Maybe, but nobody said anything about going. Come on, Christian. I know that Kurisu is a Nat Channeler, but is she an otaku? No way. Not suffocate in a crowd like that. Not as crowded on day two if you're worried. Come in the afternoon. All the popular stuff will be sold out, though. And we still kill that mother freaking <laughs> dumb ass red haired nerdy beesh. Beesh. Looking all stupid working with Nightbot. Stupid. Dang. I will let everyone kill Shining Finger over and over and over. Dang. Well, this is that part of the stream where we get unwholesome, unfortunately. <laughs> I like Redhead. Yeah, Kurisu's a little mean, but like Sora's been saying, Sundere. You go, Okabe? You're my Yuri's guardian, aren't you? No, my Yushi's Okarin's hostage. Alright, that's what it was. Well, you don't want your hostage to escape, do you? Shouldn't you take her along in handcuffs or something? You got business in Akiba. What do you mean, business? Ugh. Look at those eyes. Look at them! Really look at them. I'm gonna just go to my corner now. <laughs> we have to put up... I need to start putting some some wholesome barriers in the stream so that everything that's anti-wholesome and question my choices <laughs> can get deflected search for Kiryu Moika I can see it with the eyes in the alternative universe red is a great sword woman holy she Tokabe can we meet now got some urgent business I already sent her an email. We need to talk. and I'm waiting for her reply. Something tells me it's not going to work. No answer? I guess it was just an excuse. 
Christina, we need to talk. Again? So, Christina. I'm not going to Kamima. You said again just now. We've talked like this before. Just the two of us? Losing your memory now? Does our little scientist happen? Uh, um, uh, I don't. <clears throat> I will do my best. <clears throat> Exitalal. Except of the chloroline. Ah, thank you, Fishy. Definitely didn't give me a heart attack or anything, or scare me at all. <clears throat> but thank you. Uh... Yeah, except to chloroline. Except of chloroline deficiency. Just gonna go with that. Being serious. You're acting weird today. What's going on? Please, I need to know. I mean, yeah, this is like the fifth time you've brought me outside to talk about the time leap machine. Have we talked about my time leaping? I painted a baby Yoda on the calculator a few days ago. <laughs> cool! Have you been wearing your baby Yoda pin proudly for all to see? You're time leaping. I know that I could tell you that Nessie painted a Baby Yoda portrait, and she keeps it in her room. More than a dozen times already. Mm -mm. Seems godlike. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure both Zora's <clears throat> painted Baby Yoda on a calculator, and Nessie's painted Baby Yoda on a small little portrait. <laughs> are all godlike. That many? What the hell are you doing? So far, I've changed world lines a total of three times. Let's call the first world line where Mayuri died Alpha One. The world line where Ferris and I fought the viral attackers is Alpha Two. The world line where I dated a girl, Lukiko, is Alpha 3. Now I'm an Alpha 4. I painted it on a friend's calculator, so I don't have it with me. No. Either way... Mm, I agree with Fishy. With your skills and talent and wholesomeness at your side... I'm sure it's... Can't be anything but godlike. <laughs> Nessie should come on to a visual novel next time. Uh, uh, next time you play, so she can catch up completely. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> From my perspective, Alpha 1, Alpha 2, and Alpha 3 were undone by my D-mails. And for Kurusu and everyone else on Alpha 4, those world lines were nothing but separate, intangible possibilities to begin with. My dogs really don't like that. I guess I have to explain everything again. I sigh heavily. <sighs> then begin. I think I get it. Don't wear yourself out. It's a disgrace to be comforted by my assistant. Why are you always like that? I'm even trying to be nice. You're really full of yourself, you know. I don't need your sympathy. Everything that happened is my fault. I'm just getting what I deserve. Okabe. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about my Yuri. My Yuri will probably die tomorrow. I don't know how it will happen. My Yuri stays away from the lab, she can probably avoid running into Moika and her men. It doesn't matter though, she'll die all the same. All Alpha War lines converge on her death. Escaping the attractor field is the only way to save her. Sorry about this. I want you to be there when she dies tomorrow night. 
That's why you want me to go to Kamima? Nothing we can do to prevent her death. Just stay close and tell me when it happens. Once I know, I'll make the time leap. Oh man, my dog is going crazy! I'm almost tempted to check. What? <laughs> I can't believe there's nothing we can do. Greed. It just doesn't feel real, but it's the truth, isn't it? See it in your eyes. Are you okay? No, I still haven't saved my... I know, that's not what I meant. Are you okay? I don't follow. You're carrying an awful burden. I told you not to worry about me. It's my Yuri you need to worry about. Tomorrow, I'm going to look for Moika. There has to be an alternative ending to this screw the computer evidence. <laughs> If Mayuri doesn't die tomorrow, I can postpone the time leap. If Mayuri dies tomorrow, I'll return to the past, no matter what. I wish there was some way that Mayuri wouldn't have to suffer. Then why don't you time leap now? I can't plan effectively without knowing the deadline. I don't want to see Mayuri die either, you know? I know how you feel, but you're, only, you're the only one I can ask. Where did all the trust come from? You're my assistant, after all. You're so full of yourself. We have our plan. Harisu will go, will go first. Kamima, go to her first. That was a weird sentence. My Yuri will be so delighted when I tell her the news. So we're gonna distract her, and I'm gonna try to save her life. All right, this is the plan. I haven't seen my Yuri all day. I want to be with her, of course, but that's not possible. Moika hasn't replied, which means I have to find her myself. I guess I'll have to find her myself. Oh, now use Goodle. My only clue is Arc Rewrite, the company Moika supposedly worked at. I remember Moika telling me that she works there part-time. I find it after a quick search online. Sure enough, their business is producing articles for PC magazines. Luckily, their office is in Akiba. After so checking the time, I call their office to ask for the information. Someone on the other end picks up. I quickly assume the guise of a family member and ask for Moika's contact info. However, it gives me an unexpected answer. We don't have an employee by that name. We don't? Wait a second. There was a girl who worked here just two days before disappearing. I think her name might have been Kiryu. We might still have a resume. Frantically beg him to look for it. But reluctant at first, he finally you know, acquiesces. Mayuri shouldn't die. No one should see Mayuri die. Because she... She not gonna anymore. That's the plan. The address he gave me leads to a beat up old apartment. I feel a strange unease as I approach the apartment. For some reason, there's a police car parked in front of the complex. Uh-oh. Uniformed officer standing up front. One room in the second floor, room 202. Moika has a blue sheet covering the- Oh, that ain't good. What's going on here? Excuse me. Did the person who lives here move? Huh? Uh, no. Then... Are you related? I knew her. You haven't heard? What happened? Suicide. Damn, she died? What? Well, you got what you wanted, fishy. <laughs> and little... She's, she, uh, she can't hurt anyone anymore. Why? When? Yesterday. No way. They took her to Chioda, 3rd Central Hospital. Doesn't look like she had any relatives. 
We don't know who to notify. Will you go see the body? What? Hey. <laughs> I mean, it's not how I would have done things, but, yeah, well, asking you so, Sil. Receive. Moika's dead? What in the world's going on here? Moika, who killed my Yuri in cold blood, committed suicide? Or is this part of the conspiracy? Did her own men have killed her? Made it look like a suicide? I thought Moika was a good person. Since I knew her as Shining. Shining Finger. Oh, I, well, we thought she was, but she betrayed us. Then she died. Each time I change world lines, my Yuri's death gets pushed back one day. So does Moika's raid? It hasn't happened yet in this world line. Why did she die? This is the first time this has happened. What should I do? Moika's dead. Maybe my Yuri doesn't have to die. No, I don't think Convergence is that kind. I just want this nightmare to end. How did this all happen? A few weeks ago, death had no place in my life. I don't know how much longer I can go on. There's one more D-mail to cancel. If I can just get my hands on Moika's phone. Time leap. Moika died yesterday, the 15th. We we'll go back to before that happened. Whether the woman that killed my Yuri committed suicide or was murdered doesn't matter to me. I just need to cancel the D-mail. <laughs> Lol, the first time this has ever happened. Electrical discharge? Someone is using the time leap machine? Who? I can't let this happen. The timeline mustn't be tampered with again. I need to stop it now. Oh no. What the heck's going on? By the time I get there, the shaking has stopped. Nobody's there. The time leap machine is still faintly warm. So somebody did use it. They time leap? Who could have done it? I don't know. But now someone other than me has used the time leap machine. This is unprecedented. As expected, the history's been erased. The same thing happens when we send a D-mail. There's nothing I can do about this. Besides, I need to deal with Moika first. Put on the headgear. Preparation's complete. Did I really leap now? A little more, and I can save my Yuri once and for all. I know what will happen if I don't leap now. My Yuri will die. I'll taste that pain and despair once again. And then I will leap. It's the same either way. No need to rush. Calm down. I should determine exactly when my Yuri will die on this world line. Pattern suggests that my Yuri's death should occur between 6.30 and 7 tonight. Things are a little different this time. This time Moika has committed suicide. Just how much influence will that have? There's a chance that Mayuri won't die. We've already succeeded in averting her death. In that case, I shouldn't waste my effort time leaping. Who the heck time traveled? I heard nothing about the slow, steady tick of the clock. Been searching for the IBN 5100 for the past hour or so, but I've come up with nothing. I still can't imagine how Moika's D mail affected the computer's whereabouts. What does her phone model have to do with anything? Does keeping the same phone somehow tell her that there's an IBN 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine? It doesn't make sense. In other words, I have nothing. 6.54 p.m. The moment of truth. My Yuri is indeed fated to die today. I should be hearing from Kirisu soon. An artificial, mel artificial melody cuts through the silence of the lab. Hello? Okabe, she's... Why? Oh, I, I don't... You just... I saw it happen. She's dead. My Yuri's dead. This can't be. She, she, she suddenly collapsed. Why? It doesn't make any sense. She's not breathing. She won't answer at all. Please. Mayuri! Okabe, what should I do? What do I do? Help! Please! Mayuri's dead! What? I'm sorry for making you go through this. With that, I hung up the phone. Maybe it's because I didn't see it happen.